What a beautiful day it is outside. As it is, I'm your host, Reyes Nebo, and I welcome you to our grand final of all the Back to, to School Tricks videos. As it is, I don't think I have my list with me. Well, we could just go into my jacket and watch. Magically get my list that has our tricks from numbers one. All the way to 18. Let alone our three bonus tricks coming up on our part one. Therefore, I welcome you to our part one of two. I'll see you inside for the rest of the other video. Okay, from here, let's turn on the rock music. Okay, now let's greet and roll our way right into our first trick up of the evening, and that is the magic appearing multi key magic trick. Here is a performance of what this looks like. See, I got it. Like, you can just place this in here, gonna just give that one a squeeze and watch. And magically, Make more keys with that one. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind us to you right now. All you need for this is more than one key. Three or four. What you're gonna do is take the biggest keys in first and hide these into this part here, connect, connecting part to your thumb and pointer with these part of the keys honey into it just like this and then hold in just like this other fingers are down here disguising this like this that way you can actually place the small key in the inside and pushing these in with your fist very quickly give them a rub hand out and then give your hands a little jiggle releasing the other keys from one key now makes multi keys that you'll see right here in the palm of my hand how about let's try to find this little little bit more. And there we go. Now, when the volume is up, means more magic will be produced by the sweet rock and roll music that you hear in the background. And that there is how you do the magic appearing a multi key magic trick. And now here is our trick number two. Which is the well known the magic refixing paperclip magic trick. Here is the performance of what this looks like. See, so there's nothing in my head, and I got this. What I'm gonna do is gonna actually take this into my hand here. I'm gonna actually just give this a refix. How is this paper clip done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind you right now. That's what you need to pull this amazing paper clip magic trick off. For this, you'll need is two paper clips. One, you're gonna actually pull apart like this and keep the other one whole. They need to be exactly the same. The, ha the handling of, 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 of this is very precise. You can make that same L shape, but what you're going to do is you're going to shove it really well closest to your pointer th this time. It's a different hold. So you hold it like this with your thumb pressed up against to that very tightly. Do you, do you see the paper clip from here? You don't. 
because you're holding it very tightly up against to your 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 index a finger. So that is how you're gonna have this before the trick gets started. And you're just gonna ro rotate your thumb and place this in. You're gonna do it roughly so you guys can get to see it. You're gonna hold this as now you place this into your hand. You're gonna drop this into your lap as you start to rub. Do the rub. And by magic, it refixes itself. And that is how you do the magic refixing paperclip magic trick. And now, here comes our third trick up of the evening. And that is the well known classic one, and that is the magic coin through the paper hole trick. Here is the performance of what this looks like. Okay, so you can see how small this hole is. And I got my coin. And I can't even go into the, that hole at all. As you can see up close, I can't even fit into this hole. And I'm just gonna just give this a fold. I'm gonna place this inside the paper. I'm just gonna actually just hold this here and watch. Goes right through the hole. The little small hole. How is this classic trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is just no paper and cut just a small hole and stab it with your scissors. Next you'll need is some change, a coin. Making sure the hole is smaller than the coin. Okay, what we're gonna do is going to try and put the coin in, and it can't because it cannot fit in that small hole by any means. What we're going to now is fold the note like this again. Look how small. Gonna now just place the coin in the inside of the note sheet, just like this, and hold it like this. So that way, you'll see that's not making its way completely out. Because of paper being very loose, it'll come right out the hole. Fast, it'll come out with something. A little like this. If the trick is done, open the note paper and show just a small hole on the coin. Makes it a very fast trick, uh, even a very quick one that you can do for back to school. It is a classic, and that there would definitely bring big smiles that one. And that there is how you do the magic coin through the paper hole trick. And now, here is our fourth trick down. This one here is a, a desk one, which is only one simple thing, and that comes into our trick, which happens to be the standing note paper desk trick. Here is what it looks like. Okay, so you can see my little notepad here. Yeah, it has some no nothing here. I'm gonna just now just place this on my desk. And I was just stand. How was this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. It's very quick and and very easy and very self working working. So all you need is one thing. No, a note sheet with notes on it or scribbled out notes. Make it look very school schoolicious. Okay, so all you need to do is just gonna fold the paper up just a little bit so that way it has a crease. Making sure the crease is not noticeable. That's going to allow it to actually 
stand on the table very quickly. It's a quick one. So you're gonna, you're gonna hold it, and stabilize it, and by magic, making the paper stand on your desk. As you took this done, take your hands and make it magically crash down on the desk. And that is how you do the stunning note paper desk trick. And now bring us down to our trick number five, which is the dot stick pull magic trick. Here is what it looks like. Okay, so you can see I got my dot stick here. I'm gonna just like this, like this. I'm gonna actually just go like this. And pull it off and make it vanish. I'm gonna try to do this again. Go into my hand like this, and see if I can go in my hand like this. Watch. And magically, it comes back on the stick. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the stick to you right now. All you'll need is a craft stick and any color dot will do. Let me have a stationary store. And you can find these sticks in the local craft store. So, what you're gonna do is you hand it over and as a covering to make it vanish. As you pull off, all you gotta do is just flip this over into your palm and then pull and make it vanish. Do that same thing again as you flip it over and then pull it out and showing it back on. And fast, it'll look like this. You gotta be, be fast with this too. In, just a few times, and There. Right there. And up here, so back on your craft stick. And that is how you do the, st the dot stick pull magic trick. And that uh, drops us down to our trick number six, which is. The magic pen and paper note trick. Here is what it looks like. Okay, so you can see my paper note here. I got my bad pen. You can see all my notes on here. Okay, let's use this pen as a magic wand. Watch. And again, one last time. How is this done? I'm about to reveal this secret to you right now. All you need, need are two simple things. I know paper, some notes on it, and a pen. What you just want to do with the paper is kind of slightly bent up just a little bit. Why? Because it's going to blow on to this to make it look like it's actually the pen making it move. Really? You're blowing on the sheet while moving the pen by Mr. Action. Okay, so I'm down here. What you're gonna do is have this facing you and the pen like this. So you're gonna go yes. That's all that you're doing. Can you use that pen for Mr. Action? And end up doing that. So you can do this for a long distance onto the desk. Like that you can also go under but the hat and the rim going down and going Practically like floating. You can also move it up a little bit if you want to and get the air in there. So that way it'll go soaring even more. Just took your hat down a little bit. But if you don't have a hat, that way it works the best too. It's a cool, fast little trick you could do at your desk. And that there 
is how you do the magic pen and no paper trick. And now here we appear down to our seventh trick down, which is the magic appearing writing in the notebook magic trick. Here is what it looks like. Okay, you can see my notebook here. There's no writing here. You can just take this, just like this, and watch. Nothing there still. Okay, just give me a few moments. Well, I magically use this pen as a magic wand. Okay. See? And by magic, make words appear in my notebook. How is this trick done? I'm about to reveal. The secret behind this to you right now. All you need is one thing, a notebook. And if need be, a pen for a little bit of misdirection. Always good to have a pen with you. Just in case you need like a, a nice little magic wand. This works pretty well as a magic wand basically. Okay, what I just want to do is take one of the sheets as close as to the words, like this, and give it a cover, and a hold down with your fingers like this, making sure that it does not come up past your fingers, so it's like this. That way, as you put this down, you can actually come here and pick up the other sheet pretty quickly, and then by magic, wor words will appear in your notebook. And if you do, like, say, go through the, the, the paper a little bit like that, uh, again, it'll show this a blank paper. And then if you say, oh, wait a minute, I need, I need to re restore that magic, that's when you pull out your trusty pen and put in that magic. And give that notebook a tap with your pen. And then from there, pull off the trick. It's a really um, cool one you could do very fast and very quick. And that there is how you do the magic appearing writing in the notebook magic trick. And from there, we come down to our eighth trick, which is the color changing Crayola marker cap magic trick. Here is what it looks like. Okay, you can see, I got this. I can I actually just take this? I'm gonna actually take this off. I'm gonna actually. Let's place this into my hand. Just say like this. I'm gonna do something pretty magic. I'm gonna take this again and place it onto that same cap. Watch. And by magic, I change the cap. How is this done? Uh, I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need are two simple things. I'm going to show you what they are. One is one marker and you'll need is a second marker. You can look for the colored ones. One you want, you want to change. I'm going to take that off. One marker and put that aside and ditch that. This will go into your hand with your fingers for real, let's look. Hold your shirt in a nice, that's what it looks look. Or just g g g generally into your pants pocket like this. So that way it's more of a naturalistic look. You're gonna take a look, look at the marker and pass this around for inspection. Take your hand, remove that cap, then place into your hand on the opposite side of the change. Like that. You're thinking that, that you're putting it into here, really putting it into the color inside there. Like this. What you gotta do is hold this in retention as you use your fingers to brush and change the marker cap. From here, go, go at an angle as you bring your pen out for, for a big motion and ditch 
the a pen cap. And really cool one you could do very fast. I thought I'd recommend this one. This one here would definitely bring someone's back to school day extra special. And that is how you do the color changing Crayola marker cap magic trick. And from there, that puts us strictly down to our ninth trick, which is the shrinking pen cap on a pen magic trick. Here is what it looks like. So you can see how big this pen cap is. We could just take this pen here. We're gonna do something pretty magic with this. And watch. Magically, I shrink the uh, pen cap. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. For this, what we'll need is a marker and a pen. Make sure that they're the same lid in color. Take the one off the pen and the one off the Sharpie marker, which is the bigger one. You can actually place this right into the big one, like this. Just like that. So it looks like this. You're gonna hide it with your fingers like this. And holding that tab down with your ring finger. Take your pen and place it into its cap, but they're thinking that you're actually putting it into the big cap. Like this. Get it in. Come up very quickly as it hold this. And then by magic, shrinking the pen cap. Now this is into your hand. Go on an angle and get it, or just directly right into your lap. And there you go. Magically, shrinking that big cap to its right state for the pen. Perfect fit. And that there is how you do the shrinking pen cap on pen magic trick. And down uh, from there, we get down to our t tenth trick, which is the vanishing pen from a cap. Magic trick. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so you can see my pen here. I'm gonna just now go like this. I'm gonna actually just make this vanish. And by magic, make the pen vanish, leaving the pen cap. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is this one simple thing. A cap and a pen. Okay, here is the procedure how this is done. It's very simple and very quick. I'm going to teach you this wonderful pen magic <coughs> trick. Okay, what we're going to do is loosen up the cap first. So that's nice and loose. You're going to hold so that it does not come apart. This is going to allow you to make the pen vanish. So as you go into your forearm, you're going to actually use a hand to cover. There, the pen is going to drop. They're thinking the pen is still there because it's going to hold on to that cap. And then by magic, making that pen vanish and leaving into your palm the pen cap. And that there is how you do the vanishing pen from the cap. Magic trick. And from there it drops us down to our 11th trick. And that is the slick quick pen flourish trick. Here is what this looks like. Okay, from, from here, I got like this. Gonna actually watch. Do that pen flourish. How is this done? I'm about to reveal this quick trick to you right now. All you need is just a simple pen for this trick. What you're going to do is going to actually hold the bottom part of the pen in where your ring finger is. 
I'm going to twist this up and do that. And hold with your pointer and thumb. So if you're quick, it'll go like this. It's a pretty uh, cute flourish you could do. Very quick and a very simple one. I probably recommend this one. You'll get a lot of um, people smiling. But again, practice makes it perfect. From here. Like that. Once you nail it, this here will definitely impress everyone around you. And that is how you do the slick, quick, pen flourish trick. And that jumps us right down to our 12th trick, and that is the magic finger to the pen trick. Here is what this looks like. Just in case you can't see my pen, just to rest this down. And I just hold my finger just here. Watch. You see? My magic. I pick up the pen with my fingertip. How is this done? I'm about to reveal what to you right now. All you need are two simple things. And that is some see-through scotch tape and a pen. What you want to do is get a nice little bit of a hunk, not that much, of your scotch tape, the school scotch tape, and roll like this, like making it like double-sided tape. Or you can use double-sided tape, it doesn't have to, have, to be, have to be this. And put this directly onto to the pen, like this. Make sure you get a pen that's nice and light, just like this. You're gonna hold this down with your finger, like this. And hold, like this. So that way it gives the most naturalistic look ever. Make your way to a table. Put your finger down. And then the sticking so the tape will be onto your finger. And then by magic, as you lift up, the pen will stick to your finger. Peel off, and peel off the tape very quickly, and then hand the pen for inspection. Makes a very quick trick you could do for going back to school. And right there is how you do the magic finger to the pen. Magic trick. And that crawls its way down to our 13th trick, and that is the refixing a pen magic trick. Here is what this looks like. Okay, so you can see, this here can actually just take this and just watch, remend my pen. How is this trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is what you'll see here. A full pen and a pen a cut and taped so no ink will come out of it. Make sure you tape it, tape it well for this one here. What I just want to do is have a nice long sleeve shirt because of what you're going to be doing next. That is hiding the full pen into it just like this. That way it stays right there onto your arm, connecting it to your pinky, like this. That way you can actually present the broken pieces into your hand, like this. What you're going to do is cl close your fist, collect the pen in, in front of your, your jacket, whatever you have, and then by magic, manning the pen and dropping these into your lap. For a quick ditch. And that there is how you do that refixing a pen magic trick. And from there we fall down to our 14th trick, and that is the smoke a pen trick prank. Here is what this looks like. Okay, you can see that my hand's completely empty. I'm gonna just use this pen and watch just blow on the pen that I have in my fist. Whoa! Oh man, I never knew a pants could actually smoke like that. Wow. 
How is this done? I'm about to reveal this secret to you right now. It's very simple, very easy, and very quick, and I'm going to, to, to teach you how to do, do this one. For this, you're going to need a, a pen. Then you'll need is some talcum powder creating the smoke effect. We're going to put that into a little of a vial, which is what you'll see right here. This now will get into your hand like this and crawl up into your fingers. And as you tuck it in, and so your hand like is like empty by hiding this up like this. So crawl in, and so it has to be completely empty by holding it out of the way so that you can see the emptiness of your hand. Place the pen into the you know, vial, just like this. You're going to blow into the vial, expelling the tucker powder, creating the smoke. You'll go shooting up the pen, as well as on the sides. It's a really cool uh, a pen and trick prank that you can pull off for back to school. And right there is how you do the smoka pen trick prank. And now, here we are at number 15. And that is the quick retrieving pen trick. Here is what this looks like. I can actually go like this, drop it down on the floor. Watch how quick I can retrieve it when um, I dropped it. That was slick, Batman! Okay, you wanna know how this, this trick is done? Because I'm about to reveal a secret to you right now. All you need is what you'll see here. Two pens. You're gonna do is hold one and actually use your middle finger to kick it out like this. That's gonna be the retrieving. You're gonna hold this down closest to your forearm as you're gonna now is synchronized with the dropping on the pen and the flick. So drop and flick. And by magic, quick retrieving your pen after dropping it down to the floor. Making sure that making sure making sure that you uh, can can seal that in a way. That way the only you see is the pen being flicked, flicked out. And also be impressed when they see you quick retrieving your pen. And that is how you do the quick retrieving pen trick. And there, that brings us down to our 16th trick, and that is the pen cap through the table magic trick. Here is the performance of what this looks like. You can see I got a solid table here. And I got my little pen cap. I'm gonna just place this pen cap just right here. I'm gonna just use my hand just like this. With that, the magic that goes right through the table. How is this done? I'm about to reveal this to you right now. All you need is a pen cap and a table or a desk. You're gonna do this at the kind of slight edge of the desk, like that with the pen cap there. And as it places down, you can actually use your thumb and kick it off and give it a rub. So it looks like as if it went right through the table. In fast, it'll be like this. You could do it other ways too. By just coming it over and then it's letting it slip off that way too. And again, magically, it goes right through the desk or the table. And that is how you do the pen cap through the uh, table magic trick. And in brackets, desk. And so from there, that brings us to our 17th trick, which is the magic alumino pen magic trick. Here's what it looks like. For this one, I'm going to greet you in the city area for this amazing one-of-kind epic pen magic trick. Can you see my pen? 
going to go like this and watch. Yeah, actually, magically, illuminate, illuminates. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to this right now. All you're gonna need is one of those sticks. You're gonna break these up. And all you need is a pen. They're gonna bust the bomb off and keep the lid on. This is gonna go into your forearm, into your long jacket. Hold very tightly and no spacing is opening or else you'll reveal this. So making sure it's well concealed. You're gonna show your pen. You're gonna have to actually place this in very quickly like this. Pushing it towards you, and then it'll magically illuminate the pen. Give it up for the Lumino pen. If I see it's in the dark, I don't know. Show you what it looks like in a more of a darker room. Okay, so you can see the light out there, but look, you can see. You can see the pen cap right here. You can see the pen is nice and illuminating. It's a really cool uh, pen master trick you could do for back to school. And now into the light, you get to see this. And that there is how you do the magic lumino pen magic trick. And now greeting us down to our 18th one, which is the pen cap drop cup magic trick. Here is the performance of what this looks like. Okay, so you, got, you see my emoji cup, it has a blue a Kool Aid inside, and I got my uh, pen here. Okay, let's go like this, and I'm gonna see. Oh! I went right into my drink! No, no worries, I can just put this right into my hand here. I can actually just do something pretty magic. Watch. Okay, how did that escape my blue Kool-Aid from my emoji cup? How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is a pen, an emoji cup, and what happens to be the blue Kool-Aid is actually blue food coloring. Or if you have blue Kool-Aid or any color Kool-Aid will work, work great for this amazing one of kind pen cap magic trick. Or should I say pen cap and cup magic trick. Okay, so you got your cup there, you got your pen, put out your pen, and take off your cap. Like this, what you're gonna do is gonna actually sew this in by bringing it back with your middle finger, like this, very fast as it get into the cup, like this. You're gonna think that it went into your cup. You need to go hide in with the liquid, like this. So they think that it's in there. It really, is this right here? Put your pen, pen in, into your hand, to the cap. Hold, nice and. Naturally, and then snap your fingers and make it jump from your cup and naturally back on to the tip of your pen. And that one there def will definitely bring big smiles. And that is how you do the pen cap drop cup magic trick. From here, we've hit our bonus tricks, our three bonus tricks. Coming into you right now. And now here we are at our b b bonus tricks. Coming in at number one, which is the magic stamp from the hand trick. Here is what it looks like. Can you see here? Can you just go this is the hand and the watch. Three, two, one. And by magic, I get a stamp 
on my hand. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. The trick is here is very easy, very quick, and very simple. Because all you need is what you'll see right here. And it's right here. It is um, a favor uh, pack. It's a party one. And it has six stampers. So that's what you need to pull this amazing trick. Take a look. I got nothing inside the jacket. Again, watch. And see, by magic, I get these. These are what you're looking for. And they come with di a different uh, pictures on them. Let's see what we got here. It's a star. For one. We got an emoji smile for the other one. We got a uh, alien-like squid guy here for the third. For the fourth is this look uh, funny-looking circle that you see right here. The fifth one, again, looks like to be like, like uh, one an alien. And the last one is another emoji with this little tongue sticking out. So there, you get these little guys, and these are the stamps that you'll see right here. For this, you need some, some scissors, because it has a wrapping over it. I'm going to cut this off. Really good. So that way you can take it off very easily. So once you get that from here, it just unwraps just like this. I'm gonna, gonna use this little guy here. Okay, what you wanna do is take this little guy off of here. You can see here is a stamp. It comes with its own ink. Cause I use this hand, I'm gonna use the other one. Gonna do dudes gonna hold this with your thumb like this. And hide away like this. You can do this to one of the kids. What you gotta do is, is make sure that this is well hidden so you don't see a thing. I'm gonna have to go like that. And then you gotta do is be very quick. Making sure the little head is upright on the little stamp. And you gotta do is you stamp like this and hold and, and lift it off. And it gives this. Again, hold like that. From there, keep holding this into your palm, and then put the cap on. My nose around, and giving this a ditch into your pocket. You can find these in your local party section with all the other party merch on the shelf. Perfect for kids of all ages. Well, here's a tip for these to make it more magical. Hide them in your pockets of your shirt. Or into your pants. Okay, okay. Two. Make sure they're all opened. And then just place them into here. That way as they're going into an, an angle you can grab one very quickly and stamp and make these appear on the backs of their hands. Again, goes and in, goes into your ditch if you like to. Right there is a little a little tip in leading off to bettering the performance of those stamps from your hand. And from there is how you do the magic stamp from the hand trick. And now we're down to our second bonus trick. Which is the magic school napkin appearing gift magic trick. Here is the performance to you right now. So you can see I got my napkin here, which is completely empty. I just, just take this, just like this, and watch. Okay, actually, just 
make a gift up here. By magic. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind this to you right now. All you need is <coughs> um, a, a gift, like um, a, like it's kind of like a, like a care packet. It's a stationary gift set. And you can see here. This one here happens to be a Cars one. Isn't that cute? Okay. For this, you need for your napkins are actually two napkins. One you're gonna tape on there, making sure that it's flush, so that way it stays one at all times. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do open up your your napkin, but first you're gonna see how flush it is. Exactly. So you're gonna do is open up your napkin, just like this, and place your gifts just like that. And then put your napkin back. The tape is just right here. You're going to seal that with your scotch tape that you'll see right here. What you're going to do is to see that it's completely empty. Make sure you hold this very well and Wrap that like that. Take it like this. Come up and then just give a little shake. And by magic, making a gift magically appear from your napkin. And that there is how you do the magic skull napkin appearing gift magic trick. Bonus trick number three. Which is the magic Mr. Noodle Pack trick. Here's the performance of what this looks like. Take the noodle pack, you see? Here. Now watch. This. Make sure it's well hidden. Check back up in front. Line up. And then a magic. Making a second one up, up here. Best bet to hide this is into your jacket. And then 